Hey Katie, have you heard of Crunchums? Crunchums? Isn't that the low cost gym my ma goes to? Nah, Crunchums are the new all natural cereal snack bar. All natural? Ugh, pass. Everyone knows that healthy treats taste like my nan's old card game. Itchy. Give me that sugar, baby. Dude, with Crunchums, you won't even miss sugar. Just try them. Whoa, this tastes good. But you said Crunchums are healthy. Huh? They can't be healthy. No way. Yes way. Very much yes way, my friend. Crunchums are so healthy that even your parents will approve. Approve. Oh, oh, oh. My friend is really coming along. Stay on message. Try out Crunchums for a limited time by using the code CEREAL on our website. One bite and you'll be hit with a mean case of the crunchies. If you can eat them, crunch them. For time in memoriam, serious men and women like me have turned to the great outdoors when their heads were cloudy and they needed to think through a problem to solve a mystery. I can't solve much of anything at home. Way too noisy. And then there's the distraction of social media. I mean, Einstein wasn't on TikTok. But if he was, he'd have gotten nothing done. Relatively speaking, I mean. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Actually, I bet Einstein would have been great on TikTok. Brilliant dancer. Awesome hair. Ooh, back to the mystery. Let me take you into the heart of a whodunit. For those of you not in the know, a whodunit is a mystery where we don't know who done it? As in, who done the crime? Who was to blame for a crime so elaborate that it would confound even the nosiest amateur detective? Rian, who are you talking to? Mum, I told you I'm recording my podcast. Very fancy. We'll be in the car when you're finished, so... Fine. Don't be long. There could be bears around here. I'm not three, Mum. Ugh, honestly, she's so embarrassing. Where were we? Oh, yes. Recording introductions. My name is Reno O'Connor. And I'm telling you a story about a competition so rotten, it changed the lives of a group of 12-year-olds forever. This is a tale of ambition, of jealousy, of, let's just say it, skullduggery. What's that noise? There, are, there aren't actually bears in Ireland, right? Recording this intro into the woods was thick. I'll get clarity at home with a hot chocolate. Mom? Mom, wait up! <laughs> out there aren't bears in Ireland. Not outside the zoo, anyway. Still, I'll be recording the rest of this podcast from the safety of my bedroom. Dublin, January 2021. Two 12-year-old entrepreneurs immediately captured the public's heart on the high-profile TV reality competition. They're hotly tipped to win, and the entire country is on tenderhooks, waiting to see if they prevail. Then, they don't. So what happened? Did someone deliberately scupper their meteoric rise to success? For those of you not in the know, scupper means to thwart, to prevent from succeeding. Guess who got the source for Christmas? Ah, thanks parents. Anyway, to get a clearer picture, we must ask ourselves a question. The first of many. What was the novice? This January, RTE is airing its most explosive reality show yet. Forget about celebrities driving their way to more fame. Forget about bad dates or underwhelming singing competitions with those swinging chairs. It's time to go back to school. We're shining a light on the brightest young entrepreneurs in the country or at least the brightest young entrepreneurs in the one school we visited. I've basically been a businesswoman my whole life. I invented my own brand of lemonade before I could walk. It would have been successful too. If Hiccups hadn't destroyed her business, Hiccups, the not-so-silent killer. Do I think anyone could change the world through commerce? No. Do I think I could change the world through my eco-business? Well, that's different. My brother and I are doing this because our teacher told us we have to. Shout out to Miss Moriarty. Can we please have our smartwatches back when this dumb show is over? I've always loved tech. I bought my first hybrid car with my communion money. Can I drive it? No, that's not the point. These mini CEOs will compete against one another 
to be mentored by me, Harry O'Connor, broadcasting legend and former adult water skate salesman. That's right. But only one will be crowned winner of The Novice. Tune in or you're scrapped. The voice of the host may be familiar to you. Harry O'Connor was a prolific broadcaster right up until the early 2000s. Prolific meant that he worked a lot. Like, a la la. He read the news. He made offbeat documentaries. He helmed Play a Game, the popular charades-based Saturday Night Odyssey. He even starred in Fair City as Thug with a Heart of Gold, Clowno. Clowno? I know that look in your eye. Tell me you're not going to do anything stupid. If Paul Brennan wants to play, then we play. Harry was RTE royalty. Here's Radio Prince Ryan Tuberty describing the O'Connor effect. I mean, everyone looked up to Harry O'Connor. He was the man. He's, in fact, he's the reason I went into television. If Harry O'Connor ordered something from the RTE canteen, then I ordered it too, which was a big leap for me. I normally restrict myself to beige foods only. I call it the Tubbers regime. So Harry got you to try new food? Well, one day he ordered a plate of sprouts. No spuds, no meat. Just sprouts, a mound of them. And there's something sinister about a plate of sprouts, but I ignored that little voice telling me to walk away. So I ordered them too. And? Have you ever eaten a sprout, Rian? At at Christmas, I guess. Disgusting things. One got lodged in my throat. I I nearly choked. I would have been a goner if Brian Dobson hadn't leapt over your table and given me the Heimlich. Ooh, yikes. I call them the green assassin. The sprouts, of course, not double. Okay, back to Harry. It seems you really looked up to him. Absolutely. You know, your name is Rian. My name is Ryan. So do you know the difference between you and I, Rian? Why, I, why, I, ought I? <laughs> you get it? Huh, yeah. Harry O'Connor was top dog, but then came the inevitable fall. He invested everything he had in a brief, but ultimately terrible, adult roller skate business. Rian, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when I say... Roller skates. My six-year-old sister? Classic mistake. You see, everyone thinks roller skates are for little girls. But what about selling them to middle-aged men, perhaps? Roller skating is the perfect hobby for older gents who want a fun way to exercise. (laughs) Ever think of that? I thought none of the older gents wanted to buy the roller skates. Isn't that why the business went under? Let's not dwell on the past, Rian. The novice is going to be a storming success, and I'll I'll be back on top. I need this, nephew. That's right. Harry O'Connor is my uncle. He lived on our pull-out sofa after his dodgy roller skate business tanked. He's the reason I'm making this podcast in the first place. Without him, I wouldn't have anything to investigate. He rang me with an offer I couldn't refuse. You're in... Transition year. Yeah? Why? You do work experience as part of the coursework. I can help you land your dream job. You can get me a job as a surgeon? We can do better than a boring old surgeon. You can get a slice of the real action. Showbiz, I'm going to make you a runner on The Novice. Oh, right. This is television, Rian. It's dripping with opulence and glamour. Will I get paid? <laughs> You're gas, Rian. <sighs> Great. <laughs> so I was working on the team of the novice. I did the photocopying, I made the coffee, I hoovered the cash, I interviewed the kids. That's how I got to know all the contestants. If you guys could just explain who you are and what your product is. You go. No way, you're the salesperson. You go. I'm Aoife. And I'm Katie. And together we invented Crunchems. And Crunchems is... A healthy cereal snack bar that doesn't taste like... Don't say but. I wasn't going to say but. You were. I could tell. You were going to say that it doesn't taste like but. We're best friends. I always know what she's thinking. What am I thinking now? That I'm being super annoying. She gets me. Crunchems is good for you, but doesn't taste like it's good for you. Does that work? Perfectly. And Crunchyms has been going over well in the novice? We're doing okay. We are crushing it. 
The other contestants are sickened. It's kind of hilarious. Eva, what? It's true. Frontums is the perfect product if you want to destroy the world. Do Eva and Katie want to destroy the world? Because they wrap their lame health bar in plastic. Maybe introduce yourself before complaining about the other contestants. Fine, my name is Fergus Green and I'm one of the finalists on The Novice. What's your product, Fergus? My product is an environmentally sound toilet that turns your waste into even better waste. It takes your business and churns out little tablets of fertilizer for your garden. Do a lot of kids your age garden? They should, Rian. I call my invention the bog log. It's revolutionary. <laughs> did you get the pun? I did. It's been a long road to perfect the bog log. A long, windy, boggy road. Diary entry 251. The bog log seems to keep exploding. Parents threatening to ground me, but I'll stay the course. That's what Greta Thunberg would do. Speaking of GT. Hey Greta, leaving another message. This is Fergus from Ireland. Remember, I'm that kid that tracked you down begging you to sign my t-shirt. I'd love to chat about my latest invention. If you have any time, it's revolutionary. You'll get the joke when I fill you in. Ciao. Ciao. Get it together, Fergus. So you aren't threatened by conscience. There's only one person who could possibly beat me for prime position on the leaderboard. And he isn't making crispy treats. Your name is Xander. Yeah. And your product for the novice is this Homer Kelper app. Yeah. Let's have a look, shall we? So I'm testing this out on my French homework. Hold the app over the page and... Wow, it answered every question. It's even added in some bonus homework to boot. Xander, this is truly impressive. I mean, you're only 12 and you're already this powerful. You're like a young Steve Jobs, without the polo neck. Yeah. There were only two contestants left, brother and sister duo, Clara and PJ. They'd have to do pretty well to beat Xander's homework helper. Clara and PJ, your invention is... Uh... I'm not sure I get it. Could you explain? We invented mood nail varnish. Mood nail varnish? It changes colour with your mood. Bright colours for happy, dark for angry. Everyone in our family is moody. It's a nightmare. The nail varnish lets you know when it's a good time for a chat and when you should duck for cover. Well, Clara, you're actually wearing the nail varnish right now, aren't you? And it's a sort of navy. So that means... What do you think it means, Rian? Mayday! You have about 30 seconds before those nails are black. Run! Okay, thanks! Those were our contestants. They were all talented. They were all ambitious. But which one of these kids would win the novice? To learn the inside scoop, I had to record an early meeting with their teacher, Miss Moriarty. Some people would observe each of these kids and think that they're special and unique. They aren't staring at them in class five days a week, thank you very much. I look at these kids and I see a huge amount of hidden potential for me. I come up with way better ideas. I work harder. I should have been on the novice. It's a competition for children. Everything's a competition for children. What about the adults? Where's our reality show competitions? Literally everywhere. Oh, I don't watch TV. I spend a lot of time online deleting comments on RateMoWoundTour.com. You would not believe how vicious the remarks can be. I'm curious. What attracted you to teaching? Helping mould young curious minds, of course. <laughs> I'm messing with you. It was the holidays. You're not meant to admit that, are you? I hope this won't be on the record. Uh... Oh, give me that phone. Every week, the contestants would duke it out on the novice. They perfected their prototypes. They sharpened their salesperson techniques. Not only did they battle each other, they also faced down the ugliest monster known to man. Anonymous opinions on the internet. Most people on social media were really nice. They were interested in the product, which makes sense. Most health food tastes like cardboard. They were really rooting for us. A woman on Twitter called me Fergwad. And that caught on. Hashtag Fergwad was trending on the first night the show aired. What if Gretchen sees that? Why would I care what strangers think? Exactly. Every week, the public would vote for their favourites. The public have voted and the results are as follows. 
Aoife and Katie, could you step forward? It looks like you might be disappointed at some stage, but not this week because you've ranked in first place. You are our current CEOs. Straightforward way of saying it. We're winning! We're winning! We're winning! We're winning! Seriously? The cereal bars? My product's good for the planet. Whatever. Unfortunately, not every contestant can go through to the next round. The team with the least votes from the public will be leaving our novice journey. Yep. They'll be cast out, sent back to wherever it is they came from. Probably never to be heard of again. Get on with it. The team we'll be losing this week is... Clara and PJ, you're scrapped. Thank God for that. Miss Moriarty made us enter instead of giving us detention. We never cared about the contest. Now she'll give me my smartwatch back. It's been her desk since like forever. So it was goodbye to Clara and PJ. And Katie and Aoife were in the lead. They were by far the most popular contestants. And it looked like nothing could stop them. Winning the contest was a slam dunk. And then... RTE News has learned that two of the contestants from the popular reality show The Novice were ousted from the contest earlier today. The contestants were disqualified after a leaked clip revealed a damning lie about their business product. Hey Katie, do you think we'll become millionaires? Or billionaires? What comes after billions? Trump squillions? Stop getting ahead of yourself, Eva. We need to be careful or someone is going to figure out our dirty little secret. Who do you think will rumble us? Bog Boy or the Tech Quiz? Relax, Katie, we're safe. No, we're not. Not as long as we're lying about our ingredients. We're telling everyone Crunchums is health food. It is, mostly. But it's loaded with, don't say it, sugar! Just eating yummy Crunchums. Tastes like lies. Sugar, white, Gold. Crunchums was loaded with the stuff. Aoife and Katie went from the top of the pile to rock bottom. But how did that clip leak online? Rian, we were set up. Someone falsified the clip? There's no sugar in Crunchums? Exactly. Aoife, stop. We need to be honest. The clip was us, Rian. And we were lying about the ingredients in Crunchums. But Aoife's right. We were set up. We never recorded that clip. But it was leaked from my phone. Could there have been a technical glitch? The phone thought you wanted your conversation recorded. Maybe, but there's more. Just before the clip leaked, we were contacted by a blackmailer. Pay for him, Katie. I know you're lying about the sugar. Burn the show, or there'll be trouble. Apologies. That's the sound effect I'm playing around with it. You'll look into this for us, Rian. Won't you? We need your help. What else could I do? I said yes. I started investigating. Ether and Katie were on the verge of nationwide success, if not global domination. Then, their secret was exposed. Their product, discredited. Their friendship, dented. But just how did their serial empire fall apart so quickly? Were external forces really to blame? Who was the mysterious blackmailer? And did the show The Novice have any other surprises in store for us? I intend to use this podcast to delve into the heart of the mystery. Along the way, we'll learn about thwarted ambition, long-held grudges, lies, friendship and sabotage. Welcome to my true crime podcast. Welcome to Serial. Serial was produced by Nikki Coughlin for RTE Junior Radio, devised by the RTE Junior team with Murren and Nikki Vaughan, and written by Carol Walsh. Script editing by Murren and Nikki Vaughan. For full cast and crew, go to rte.ie forward slash kids. No cereal bars were harmed in the making of this podcast. This is our RTE Junior!